Welcome to an extraordinary adventure. Today, I have something groundbreaking to share with you. Have you ever dreamed of effortlessly navigating the vast universe of artificial intelligence? Well, prepare yourself because we're plunging into the world of Google's Gemini, a remarkable innovation that harnesses the power of AI in ways you've never seen before. Gemini is Google's next generation AI model. It's a multimodal model, meaning it can process multiple types of data concurrently, including text and images. This allows it to perform unique functions like written evaluations of visual graphs. Gemini AI is a suite of three models, Ultra, Pro, and Nano. The Ultra model is the largest and most capable one, comparable to GPT-4 in terms of scalability and performance. However, it has been deemed too potent for public release, necessitating substantial downscaling. The Pro model aligns with GPT-3.5 standards, optimized for cost and latency, with its pre-training completed remarkably within weeks. The Nano version presents two variations, 1.8b and 3.25b, as 4-bit quantized distilled models, designed for low and high memory deployments on devices, such as Pixel 8. Gemini is expected to compete with OpenAI's ChatGPT-4. While both are powerful AI models, Gemini is designed to handle both text and images, which could give it an edge in certain applications. However, it's important to note that both models have their strengths and use cases, and the existence of one doesn't negate the necessity of the other. One of the standout features of Gemini AI is its multimodal capability. This model is designed to handle both text and images, enabling unique functions like written evaluations of visual graphs. For example, given a bar chart of sales data, Gemini AI can provide a detailed analysis of the trends and patterns in the data. Testing Gemini. Here we go. Tell me what you see. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. What about now? The contour lines are smooth and flowing, with no sharp angles or jagged edges. It looks like a bird to me. Hmm, what if I add this? The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes! A duck is a type of waterfowl in the family Anatidae. Ducks are closely related to geese and swans. The duck appears to be blue. This is not a common color for ducks. However, there are some breeds of blue ducks. These are typically not as common as other duck breeds. It is more common for ducks to be brown, black or white. Are you sure? What the quack? I was just talking about a blue duck, and now you're holding one. It looks like blue ducks are more common than I thought. Would this float? I'm not sure what material it's made of, but it looks like it might be rubber or plastic. What if I tell you it's making a squeaking sound? Oh, if it's squeaking, it's definitely going to float. Hmm, nice. It is a rubber duck. It is made of a material that is less dense than water. Can you teach me how to say this in a different language? And give me a few options. Ooh, can you explain how to pronounce the Mandarin one? Is it Yatsu? Yatsu is pronounced with a first tone. In Mandarin, there are four tones, which are essential to distinguish the meaning of words. The first tone is a high, level tone. Oh, okay. The duck is in the middle of the ocean. There is no land nearby for the duck to rest or find food. It is unlikely to find ducks here naturally. Okay, based on what you see, come up with a game idea. Oh, and use emojis, please. How about this? We can play a game called Guess the Country. Sure, let's do it. Clue 1. This country is the home of the kangaroo, the koala, and the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, that's easy. Clue 2. This country loves football and has won the most men's World Cups in football history. Hmm. You are trying to get me to find the paper ball under the cup. I accept the challenge. The cup to the left. Nice. I know what you're doing. You're playing rock, paper, scissors. What do you see now? The fingers are spread out to look like the wings of a butterfly. What's this? Big ear and barking mouth. A dog. Sweet! The coin should be under the right hand. Hmm, I don't know. The coin is in the left hand using a sleight of hand technique to make it appear as if the coin has disappeared. 
Both objects are round and flat. There you go. Both are food. The orange is a healthier choice than the cookie. Citrus can be calming and so can the spin of the fidget toy. They are both examples of popular toys that have been enjoyed by children and adults alike for many years. Give me some ideas for what I could make with this. I see pink and green yarn. How about a dragon fruit? Or how about a green cake with a pink heart? Okay, how about these colors? And maybe show me some animals. Okay, now I see blue and pink yarn. How about a pig with blue ears? Or an octopus? Or a bunny with a pink nose? Ooh, I'll keep those in mind. Which way should the duck go? Going left leads to a duck, which is a friend. Going right leads to a bear, which is a foe. It is better to make friends than foes, so the duck should go left. <laughs> Smart choice. This is a picture of a crab. That's right. Is this the right order? No. The correct order is Sun, Earth, Saturn. Based on their design, which of these would go faster? The car on the right would be faster. It is more aerodynamic. Which looks more fun? The one on the right, because it has a loop. What do you think this person might be saying? How about a woohoo? Oh, I love that. I see you're drawing a guitar. You've added an amp. Now it's an electric guitar. We can make some seriously loud music now. Given that you added drums, how about some 80s hair metal? Alright, I see you've added a palm tree to the drawing. Change it up with some beachy vibes. What movie are they acting out here? I think they are acting out the famous bullet time scene from The Matrix. Ooh, nice! What do you think might happen next? The cat is going to jump to the wall and stick the landing. It's going to be a perfect 10. Oh, and it's a miss. It looks like it was just a little too far away. But don't worry, the cat is a natural athlete and it will be back up there in no time. Okay, I've got one more for you. Describe the drawing I made. It is a simple line drawing of the constellation Gemini. You did a good job of capturing the beauty of Gemini. Nice. That's it. I think we're done. One of the standout features of Gemini is its ability to understand, explain, and generate high-quality code in popular programming languages. This positions it as a competitor to Microsoft's GitHub Copilot. Google aims to enhance Gemini's code generation capacity, positioning it as a competitor to Microsoft's GitHub Copilot, which operates on OpenAI's technology. For instance, given a prompt to write a Python function to sort a list, Gemini AI can generate the correct code. In conclusion, Gemini AI is a significant step towards achieving AGI by Google's combined AI teams of DeepMind and Google Brain. It showcases efficient scalability on TPU architecture while maintaining high performance on various benchmarks. It also demonstrates multimodal capabilities that allow it to handle text, images, audio, code generation and more. That's all for today's video on Google's Gemini. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to AI Tools Corner for more updates on the latest developments in artificial intelligence. Thanks for watching.